Well, hello there, everybody. Um, as you all pretty well know by now, uh, I've been in hospital. <laughs> been very ill and that is why video production on this channel has slowed to nothing basically. We had an anthology video go up instead of the Friday Progress video. The reason for that was, well, there was no progress to film. I wasn't here to film it and uh, being in hospital wasn't able to do any progress. So the meteoric progress of Weiryard in the loft just ground to a halt. Uh, but a uh, really big thanks to all of you who sent your best wishes. That was very much appreciated. Um, started the illness on Monday. It was kind of had all the hallmarks of flu at first, um, it has to be said. Uh, I thought I had flu. And um, by Monday night, I felt like I was improving a little bit. I think I filmed a little bit, put it out instead of a live stream, say, you know, too ill for a live stream. But... Um, should be back up and running soon. That didn't happen. By Wednesday night, it was clear that the flu was actually food poisoning and that, quite apart from getting better, I suddenly took a turn for the worst, found myself ending up in hospital. And uh, not, not a great thing to find yourself having to uh, be in hospital. And uh, essentially... Um, the, the infection just spread to my blood, um, so I had to be taken to hospital and uh, luckily then got on top of it, now on some very strong antibiotics. So I can't drink, but actually I don't fancy a drink either. Um, being ill with really bad food poisoning actually puts you off a lot of things. So there's certain things that I cannot stand the thought of and um, alcohol actually at the moment the idea of drinking alcohol is like no I couldn't I just don't like the idea of it um, there's a few other things as well like takeaways I just like I really couldn't um, I am craving cheeseburgers funnily enough McDonald's cheeseburgers <laughs> um, I'm told I shouldn't have them probably um, so I'm eating a lot of beans on toast at the moment but um, I'm going to contemplate going up into the loft. It doesn't mean I'm going to do anything. Don't worry, I'm not going to exert myself. I do tire very easily at the moment. I'm uh, still running fevers, uh, getting very, very hot, very, very cold, but definitely seem to be on the mend. Um, I look rough as old boots, I'm not wearing a shred of makeup at the moment. I really couldn't be bothered applying any. Um, but um, it's been really quite humbling to... Uh, see all your well wishes. I have read them all on the channel, uh, even though I've not commented on a single one. It's really naughty of me, but I really don't have a lot of energy at the moment. Um, but I thank you all for your continued support. It does mean an awful lot to me that you know we've got this really good community and we look out for one another. Um, but hopefully I'll start doing some more videos for the channel. Um, I do have some box openings and reviews to do and the Monday video, the Monday live stream, I'm going to try and do that but it's going to be a lot shorter. We normally aim for about two and a half hours, something like that. There's no way that I can do that and I think the reality is that it's probably going to be half an hour to an hour at the absolute most if that. Um, so you're going to have to bear with me, but you know I really want to uh, get back into doing all that kind of stuff. Um, I think it's important. Um, I've missed two weeks worth of live streams for reasons of illness, and before that, coming back from super secret filming for a <clears throat> TV series. Um, but um, hopefully, I'm on the mend, uh, and these powerful antibiotics should sort out the last vestiges of illness. They certainly do seem to be. Um, but I'm going to go up in the loft and see if there's some simple tasks that I can take on board and do. Uh, I know that there's that water. I know you've all been waiting 
quite eagerly for me to do something with it. I've described it as the disused canal. It's not going to actually be a canal, uh, more of a, a drainage ditch of some description. Actually, originally planned to have been um, the Bose Railway, the NCB line that did originally run underneath part of the real Tyne Yard. Uh, that's what that lowered area was intended to just sort of have a scenic bit of um, overgrown track uh, that the cauldrons would have run through. I think it was a rope worked incline back in the day. And that's morphed because it's Weir Yard, not Tyne Yard. I thought well, a water feature would be quite nice. Um, and I'm going to try using that solid water. It's a deluxe materials product. Um, so what I'm going to try and do is actually maybe film a separate video for that, a how-to guide stroke review of the deluxe materials solid water. Um, I'm interested to make use of it. I've heard good things and I've heard bad things about it. So I think the most important thing is to make sure you don't have a leak in your uh, in your uh, riverbed, um, because if you do, you pour in half a litre of goo and uh, nearly half a litre of goo drips out underneath. So um, you just got to make sure that's all sealed up. You might get some bathroom sealant and um, any little holes that I can see, squeeze some bathroom sealant in that and see where we get to. Um, so it's going to be a learning curve for me. I've not done any real solid water effects before. I think that the uh, most that I've ever done is I've used varnish to actually a reasonable effect. Uh, but I just want to try this out and I'm sure that you'll be really interested to see uh, one of the products that's on the market in use. So I'm going to do that for you guys. Yeah. And for me as well, because I've got some and I've got this area that I'm going to make use of it on. But I need to prepare that area first. So I think the preparation of the area will go into the Friday progress videos. And the actual setting of the water, I will make a separate video uh, doing a sort of a, a use and review video of the deluxe materials product. But I can feel myself flagging now. I've done what, just over seven minutes and I'm pretty much spent, so this is really a sort of a state of the Jedi address. Um, but until next time, thanks again for all your wishes. It's been uh, humbling to see the amount of love that's out there. And, uh, you know, you stay safe. Don't be silly like I was and eat a turkey and cranberry sandwich from a vending machine that was on its last day, on its best before date, and... Um, then come down with really bad food poisoning. I say that, I mean, I think it was that, but, you know, you get a gut inkling as to what might have caused it. Um, but you can never really be 100% certain, not unless there was a meal you ate that other people who ate that meal also got sick. But um, I wouldn't wish food poisoning of this sort, even on my worst enemy. It's really nasty. So you take really good care of yourself, and hopefully I'll see you here next time. You take really good care. This is me, Jenny Kirk saying don't forget to like this video, share it too, and also if you want to be a supporter of the channel, why not consider heading on over to our Patreon account, uh, there's quite a few people over there do support the channel, and uh, if you wanted to then it would be good to have yourself aboard and uh, see if you can pick up some of those uh, special uh, privileges for Patreons there. Also don't forget that my books are still available. Uh, and you can buy them in ebook and also printed form. Uh, head on over to probably Amazon is an easy enough place to go to to pick those up. Uh, or also you can order them through your local bookshop, places like Am um, Amazon, I've just told you that. Through Waterstones, you can also support your high street by ordering the books through them. And until next time, this is me, Jenny Kirk, saying thanks for watching. You take good care of yourself. Bye for now. Today's video has been brought to you in part thanks to the generous donation of my fans on Patreon. And a huge thanks goes out to Anthony Kidson, Mark Anthony, Michael Churchwood, Bob Threeton, Alec Ralph, Anthony Hunt, William Wade, Wayne Johns, and Offshore Allen. If you'd like to help support the show, head on over to patreon.com slash Jennifer Kirk. Thank you.
Today's video has been brought to you by my books, Bringing Home the Stars, Twinkle Little Star, and also you can get the complete comic collections of All Over the House, Books 1, Books 2, and also the wacky zany Life of Knobty Mouse. Thanks and catch you later.